we have enough vaccines out there uh, to uh, enable anyone who wants to get a vaccine to have it. Is there a real problem with utilization of vaccines when African countries receive them, whether they are donations or purchases? Our greatest challenge as we speak today, uh, uh, Leonard, is what I call vaccine famine, not vaccine hesitancy or the inability to, to vaccinate. In the spirit of donation, donate honestly that you do not give me vaccines that will expire in two weeks or three weeks. We are seeing that a lot and that pattern is not helping Africa. That is not multilateralism at all. You have to ask yourself the question, uh, why did COVAX source our vaccines only from one producer in India for a whole continent of 1.2 billion people? Uh, if the promise of COVAX would have been kept, then we were hoping that by the end of uh, 2021, that at least 30% of our population would have been vaccinated. So today, a continent of 1.2 billion people have vaccinated about 3% of its population. At this pace, it is very obvious that by 2024, we will not have vaccinated enough people on the continent. What I, what I hear more in the media is that country X has donated 10 million doses of vaccines, 5 million doses of vaccine. I want us to understand what the, the denominator is. The denominator here is 1.6 billion doses of vaccines. So if you give us 10 million, we have to be sure that it is understood in the context of the overall need. In order to immunize 60% of our population, we needed at least 1.8 billion doses of vaccines. If you translate that 400 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson into a two doses regimen, it means that we actually secured 800 million doses of vaccines. That is important because it speaks to the, the ownership of the, the program. It speaks to the, the need and the importance of Africa to take their own health security into their hands. And it's paid for by Africans. It's not donation. These are taxpayers' money. If you like our work, please do subscribe, like, and share our content. We'd also love to hear from you. So do send us your comments and your feedback, including any other topics you'd like to hear from us. Thank you for watching.